And then I went to Australia and like being there and seeing how they do things and their racism is a little bit different because it's more, it's more like, hey, what's up? We're like, right, right, right up. And <laughs> I, I, I tell the story on, on stage and, it, and I was there and, and we were there with a couple of uh, Australian kids that were just at the hotel chilling. And I was hanging out with them and my friends were there from the trip. And one Australian dude, he was like, hey, mate, are you the only nigga fella on the trip? And like everyone froze. Oh, and I was like, whoa. And I was like, dude, you can't. What did, what, like, what did you say? And he just, he was like, oh, are you the only nigga fella on the trip? He said it again? He said it louder. Oh, he thought my God. Because he thought I had to hear it. I'll, I'll never forget that as long as my life. And I was like, God damn it. And, I, and the thing about it is he wasn't coming from a hateful place. It was more like, hey, this is what you are. Like, this is what we call them there. Oh, so and it's now, like more openly, like not like, because people always that, that uh, defend using the N word. And they're like, I'm not saying it at somebody angrily. I can say it like with, a, with, with not a hard R at the end. And it's fine yeah. if I'm rapping. No, this was, this no, was definitely hard. This was hard R. Oh, it was hard a, R. Yeah. Even still, though. Yes. But, but like, they're, they just think that that's the term. Yeah, he was like, yeah, well, you, you're, you're a nigga. Like, that's what he said to me. Like, it was oh. like, whoa, whoa. And I, we had to tell him, like, and it's so funny because I wanted to be like, oh, he said it out loud. You guys are used to saying this when I'm not here, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs>